Here are some of my virtual production highlights from the NAB 2024. In the past, LED virtual production tools were a combination of two sets that were not specifically designed for LED virtual production. However, companies are now beginning to create tools that are more tailored for virtual productions, resulting in a more standardized and less complicated practices. Witnessing a variety of these tools on display at the NAB 2024 inspires hope for the future of virtual production. This year's event emphasized on the standardization of virtual production practices, advancement in color science, and the implementation of image-based lighting, as well as new virtual production toolkits. One standout area for me was the progress in color science for LED virtual production, particularly in the effort to address metamerism. metamerism. Metamerism, 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 whatever. Which is a situation where two objects appear identically colored under certain lighting conditions, but emit different spectral energy distributions. This is critical due to the interference between light emitted from the LED walls and external light sources, which can lead to unrealistic lighting effects on the skin tones. This challenge has long complicated the work of IC VFX filmmakers and cinematographers who use standard RGB panels, demanding extensive time to color calibrate across cameras, lighting sources, and also the LED panel to achieve desired results. Our experience in our Exile Studio productions resonates with this as we've dedicated significant efforts to fine-tuning color settings until achieving a natural aesthetic or the perfect balance during some of our productions. To address these challenges, color engineers and scientists have introduced an innovative solution called RGBW panels. These panels include an additional white LED providing a full color spectrum that enhances color fidelity. This improvement is evident in rendering better skin tones along with costumes and props which often appears overly saturated during traditional virtual production settings. Additionally, RGBW and RGBWW image-based lighting fixtures produce color-accurate reflections on skin tones, making another leap in virtual production technology. So let's talk about some of the media servers and products that stood out for me. Styplan XR. This is a virtual production XR plugin for Unreal Engine developed by Stipe Tracker. The plugin enables augmented reality and set extensions. If you already have a Stipe Tracker, this software could be beneficial for virtual production and XR productions natively in Unreal Engine. Zero Density. This is another media server capable of handling virtual production and XR production, including augmented reality and set extension. It's similar to the popular disguised media server workflows. Sony virtual production tool sets. So Sony had one of the largest booths showcasing their extensive tool sets for virtual production. Highlights include their own LED panel cameras like the Venice and Burano, which are capable of delivering 8K video quality as well as camera and display plugin license for designing, visualizing, and refining virtual production shots. And also their color calibrator software for color management. There were numerous other virtual production exhibits like the Assimilate FX, Stage Precision, and several other media servers for XR and virtual production. There are too many for, to compile on this list, but I will continue to do more videos to highlight some of these softwares later on. So if you have any questions or any ideas, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to respond.